Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Luxury Home Show. Today you join Tom and I in Barn Green, which is a small village just on the outskirts of Birmingham. So we'll pop a quick map up on the screen so you guys can get your bearings on where we are in the UK. Now, the property we're gonna be taking you inside is four bed, three bath, and just over 3,800 square feet of internal space. Now, the really special thing about this property is the fact that it was interior designed by Patsy Blunt and 300,000 pounds was spent on the renovations inside. So knocking walls down, bringing in new materials and just really catering it to the client's needs. It was developed by Avon Homes. So when they first started developing it, the client bought in Patsy Blunt from the start so that they really had you know, a huge part in making this home what the client wanted. Anyway, so if we come on up, Tom, I'm gonna to show you a little bit about the front of the house. Now we have these great electronic gates and a nice blocked paved driveway, which runs all the way up here. We've got plenty of space for cars and yeah, look how stunning the home looks. It's a very modern home, but still fits in with the kind of traditional vibe we have in the village yeah. here. And I'm loving the red brick. And as you can see here, we have it in kind of that herringbone pattern at the front of the house. Yeah, yeah kind of adds a bit of character, I love it. Yeah. And then we've got the white render around. Now we've got the double cart garage there with the gray, which also matches the window frames above, which are the same gray. And we've got side access to the back of the property via that way and that way. Yeah, we've also got a little charging point to that side as well for your Definitely. electronic vehicle. And we've even got like lawn space here as well at the front, which is yeah. quite nice. But yeah, we're gonna come on up these steps into the home and I'm gonna take you inside. Let's do it. Coming on into the property now, we have quite a large entrance space. Looks awesome, but before we get started, just gonna pop a quick floor plan up for you guys to get your bearings around the house. Nice, well remembered. <laughs> got you. We've got a nice stone flooring in here with yeah. big tiles, but I think first, Tom, we're just gonna head on into my favorite room, I think. Okay, let's do it. First room right. in the house. <laughs> How wow. awesome! Yeah. I think this is one of my favorite cinema rooms we've seen on the channel. So we've got the bespoke cinema chairs. They're looking really nice. They match the couch in the main living area, which you'll see in a bit. Yeah, they've, so got all, cool. they've got cup holders, they recline. We've got this really nice gray fluffy carpet, which yeah. has the ambient lighting all around and it's tiered. So you can fit tons and tons of chairs in. Yeah, nice. Look Ooh. This. Yeah. <sighs> it's a good spot, isn't it? Exactly. We've even got like, We've got a wine cooler down there or a fridge yep. and a little candy spot with loads of different sweets. Which Not bad, yeah. Good spot to watch awesome. a movie. Yeah, We've definitely. actually got um, aircon in here by the looks of it as well. That's nice. And those blinds behind you come down with the light switch when you press it and then the cinema comes on. So it's definitely. We've very got a high huge tech. screen and yeah. that's got the ambient lighting all around it too. We've got the spotlights in here if you want them to get brighter. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest <laughs> camera ever. No. <laughs> nice and dark in here, obviously it does get darker so you can enjoy that proper cinema vibe. Yes. Coming straight out before we head on that way, we've got a utility room in here. We've yeah. got kind of like a cloak room here and then we've got access to, to the, the double cart garage that way. Yes. Right, so we're gonna come straight through the hall, loving these like massive candle holders. Yeah, yeah, big lanterns. Yeah. And we've got this awesome open plan space in here, but I'm gonna take you straight through to the kitchen first. So nice, such a luxury finish in here. All the greys, very Definitely. light, very open, very airy. Exactly, so yeah, we've got this incredible airy space, like you said. We're gonna start on this side of the kitchen. So we have this very tall wine fridge with some very nice looking wines in there, I Absolutely, must say. Yeah. And then either side of that, we have the freezer and fridge. Yeah, super bespoke. It's all very tucked Ooh, away, yeah. you know, even with the fridge and the freezer. You Definitely. couldn't even really tell they're there. It just looks like a nice cupboard space. Exactly. And then in here, Tom, we have a really Oh yeah, cool hidden cupboard. away. It's a little pantry almost. Yeah, we've, we've got, got a microwave. Mic got the Miele microwave in there. Yeah, just a nice way to keep everything kind of tucked away, yeah. looking all organized. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And I'm gonna close it back up. I love this sort of hand-painted look as well. Yes, It's definitely. really nice. Right, now, as you can see, we have got a huge kitchen island. Massive, right? Looks like quartz on countertops, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, sort of like white stone. Yeah. yeah, quartz, you could probably write. Definitely, and then we've got the cooker boiling water tap too. <laughs> we've got like a chopping board, that's yes. the same thing. You can actually move it, but it's really heavy. But yeah, that's how you know, it's that official yeah. stone. <laughs> exactly. Now, I think this is my favorite part of the kitchen. We have this like 
antique style mirror behind, which is tinted. And yeah, it's like a distressed mirror, isn't it? Yeah. Sort of backsplash behind the, uh, Definitely. the hob. And I like how the extractor fan is hidden in this kind of, you know, unit. Yeah. Looks really seamless. And then yeah, we've got absolutely. the Siemens induction hob and the Miele ovens, which yes. is, you know, a lot of good high-end integrated Yeah, appliances. I think at your end as well, we've got a um, dishwasher tucked away in there. All again, very seamless, exactly. very neat. Even the bins like nicely tucked away yeah. like in the cabinetry, you, have, you wouldn't have any idea yeah, where it perfect. was unless you lived here. And then we've got plenty of countertops behind Tom here with loads of shelving too. Yes. And that leads us nicely actually towards the doors behind you. Yeah. There's humongous sliding, sliding doors. doors. Do you want to just pop out? Yeah. So we good. can show them the garden briefly. Yeah, we'll give you a quick look. So we've got the same like stone tiles out here that we do have in the kitchen, which yeah. makes it feel the when you open this up. The continuity from indoor to outdoor exactly. is great. Exactly, so isn't it? seamless as well. We've got, yeah, we've got some nice stairs leading up to a bunch of green space. We've even got kind of a little decking area up there, which would be perfect for a hot tub, I must yeah. say. Yeah. And then we've got these cool like ice cream whip. <laughs> yeah, they do, don't they, Mr. Whippy? Bushes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, tons of space. Even got a shed. You're really protected as well and like private with all the trees around yeah nice but yeah look at those windows they go all the way to the end so it lets so much light in yes that nicely leads us onto our dining table so yes. if you don't want to dine outside in your patio you can come straight back in yeah i love a circular dining table you can fit so many people around yeah. it king and arthur and all his knights yeah, <laughs> exactly and um, once again the interior design is Phenomenal. I'm loving like all the different shades of grey in here that match yes. so well. And yeah, nice flowers in the middle as well. <laughs> I was gonna make a 50 shades of grey joke then, but oh. I just thought, nah, let's not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, and then leading on to here, we have the kind of open-ended living area. Yeah, more so, bespoke cabinetry over yeah. at that end. Which, TV sits in there nicely. How it? massive is that? Yeah, it's huge, it's a big TV. It's huge, and we've got really nice seating. Like I said to you in the cinema room, this couch here kind of matches, oh, it's so comfy. It <laughs> matches the, the sort of like cinema chairs. Yeah. Oh, I see what you kind mean. Kind of the yeah, same yeah. style, like the boxy couch kind yeah. of look. It's a very then, soft area of this room here. Yeah. Because it's got the, the hard tiles all the way through it, but it kind of stops there when you hit that rug. Yeah. So and even the rug. sort of coffee table in front of you, Jazz, the, the edges of that are nice and soft. So it'll probably make a good little footrest as well. If you yeah, definitely. Chilling yeah, out yeah. watching some TV. Definitely. And I like the addition of that kind of the neutral tones yeah. in here as well. But I can't get over the size of that TV and I love how the cabinetry perfectly matches that couch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for sure. Nice seating area there as well. Yeah, definitely. It's a really nice spaced out room. Yeah. Like I can't stress how open and airy it feels. Yeah, there? yeah. We've got spotlights all the way through here as well. So as much as we have got a, one entire aspect of this room being glass to let all yeah. the light in, we've also got all of that for when it does get dark. We've got speakers in the ceiling as well. It's actually a control four system here, so. Yes. Yeah. Very high Handy, tech. As you can see here, behind the yeah, door. Yeah, sort of poking out. Yeah, I like the there. double kind of French doors that lead out into yeah, here yeah, as yeah. well. With the glass now. Come on back down. We're gonna take you into the dining room. Let's do it. So I love this room because it's quite, it's still very modern. Yes. But it's quite a contrast to that main room in the sense you've got the kind of dark, oh my really God. Really striking wood, yeah. isn't it? It's that, that black sycamore wood, very, yes. very glossy. Definitely, and it, it matches awesome. the cabinets, but you've got a lot more yeah. darker features in here, even the like navy curtains matching the kind of navy seats. It looks yeah. really luxury in here. I love it does, it. definitely. And yeah, we've got this nice kind of textured wallpaper as well running throughout. It really gives a lot of dimension to Again, the Again, with the greys though, right? It's like yes, another, another grey option, yeah. which is good. And then in the cupboards that end, we actually have the same matching sycamore wood. Yeah. But it has like an antique brass finish to it. Yeah. But like Jazz said, you know, it's, it's a modern look of this house, Definitely. but it's still this more of like a Intimate. gentleman's vibe, you know? Yeah, very <laughs> Old much school. So. Yeah, and the lighting in here is a lot warmer, I think. Yes, you perfect for dining. Yeah, and then we've got two sets of double doors leading to the side access that goes around to the front of the property and also the back with yeah. some more Mr. Whippy <laughs> bushes. bushes. Yeah, <laughs> quite a regal theme with the blues yeah. and the golds. Definitely. Yeah, it's really cool. So we finished up now on the bottom floor. Tom's gonna take you upstairs and show you what's in store for you there. Yeah, let's meet him up there. Okay, now we're upstairs. If you wanna follow me into the first room of the first floor, we're actually gonna check out this snooker room. Now, an interesting thing about this space, it is awesome, but um, the interior design 
company actually knocked through this room. It was two different bedrooms and converted it into this snooker room. Yeah. That's pretty cool, right? It I know so myself cool. personally, I'd rather have a snooker room <laughs> than an extra, extra guest over each night. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then we've got the same really striking black sycamore wood from downstairs with these antique style handles. And then we have the back lit mirrors as well in there, which are really nice. Yeah, all bespoke as well. It looks so stunning. Yeah. Because I love how glossy the sycamore is, kind of fits in with the mirrors behind. Yeah, and it just looks so, so well nice. thought out with interior design. You know, all of the edges of here, the same antique brass. We've even got the sort of stem of the, yeah. the, yeah, oh, yeah, the table there awesome. with the same black sycamore. It's a really nice style wood. You don't see it a lot. It's very unique. It looks Definitely. great. And because it's slightly darker, works well with the old traditional look of the snooker table, don't you think? Definitely. With the brown wood. Yeah. Sort of a wood, wood style flooring in here as well. Um, and yeah, some cool t-shirts on the wall. Definitely, I think you it might fit... know that bloke. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely fits the theme kind of that was in the dining room of that kind of Absolutely, darker. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah really. with the speakers Love in the it. ceiling here as well with the lights. Um, we're gonna head on through into our first bedroom. Um, now, yeah, if we go straight through here, we're gonna check out the principal suite. So, gliding nicely past this insane walk-in wardrobe, which we're gonna show you in a second. We have this principal suite now. You can wow. see, probably from where I'm stood, the size of this room. Oh yeah. Got a it's... humongous ceiling in here. Yeah, it looks like a vaulted ceiling. Absolutely, it? awesome. yeah. We've got aircon in here, a beautiful chandelier over this sort of seating area in front of the bed. But this headboard, oh, and just wow. the mirrors, everything so bespoke, looking amazing. All of the units match each other. Yeah, I Checks like the, the drawers, dark cupboards, wood. Everything with that sort of gold rim around the black glossy finish. Yeah. Looks like awesome. That. We've got Enjoy. a seating area here in front of the bed. It's worth noting, actually, I'm going to do it. Yeah, wait, I'll go over here. This TV comes out of this cupboard. So nicely hidden away. You're sitting in bed, you're chilling out on your sofa or whatever. Just waiting for your TV to come up. Now, I think that's pretty, pretty badass. <laughs> <laughs> like a James Bond feature. Oh yeah, definitely. That's Love cool, that. right? I like the marble effect on the blinds as well. That's pretty yeah. cool. But look how high up that is. I know, wow. So you can sit all the way in bed. Oh yeah, awesome. You can change the height as well. I'll leave it there for now. But it's pretty sweet, right? I love how you, sorry Tom, you step down into this yes. room as well. It makes it's like it feel so much, space. so much more cozy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've got, again, we mentioned with the bespoke cabinetries, but here is a really nice setup for all your jewelry and stuff. Nice dressing table. But as Jazz said, up the stairs, we're gonna head up and come into this Walking wardrobe, now check this out. There's a few pairs of shoes here that I'd quite like myself. Yeah, it's impressive. <laughs> That's very <Look> impressive. <laughs> but yeah, really impressive. Bespoke setup in here, all the ambient lighting around the edges as well, which look great. And it's another really high ceiling in here too. Definitely. So yeah, there's actually probably even room for more, more storage. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the ensuite in here, which is absolutely massive of a space. Huge um, floor tiles as well, just like in the kitchen, oh, yeah. but these are darker. Then we have the dark wood drawers in here along with the dark stone, which yeah, works like nicely. Yeah, I like the brass additions as well, like the taps, the shower. Lots of different, yeah, different dark tones in here as well. Like Jess said, got sort of the brass antique look that we've seen throughout the property, so nice bit of contingency there. I like how the um, the light is kind of like recessed up in this little oh, yeah. escape here, so you get like a really nice shadow casted down, which looks amazing on these tiles. It's like a stone effect. Yeah. It's like a stone. Very the way 3D. That it's, yeah, the way that it's sort of in ridges. Yeah. You've got that natural stone look. Yeah, it looks cool. Um, again, the brass theme, a nice low down, very intimate bathtub, it's pretty yeah. cool. Um, and then in here. Little walk-in. Yeah, the glass green leads us into this walk-in shower, massive shower head. Awesome, awesome one suite this. Definitely. And twin sinks too. Yeah, I love Yeah, that. it's really cool. And even the way that the drain works in these sinks, if you get a little close up, See how there's no oh, there's drain, no, no like ice plug. or drain in the middle. It's just nice and seamless. It's like an wow. infinity pool in your sink. Reminds me of Kim Kardashian sinks. I don't know what they look like. Oh. We ran last night, were you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, another bedroom. Ew. I'm gonna head on in here. Now we've got sort of different style in here. As the other one was very dark, this one's really light. light Makes it and feel moody. nice and big because it is a little bit smaller, but it's still a huge room. I mean, yeah. very, very wide space with the sort of a lot of symmetry in here because we've got the doors either side, one to a dressing room and then one to an ensuite. Yeah. But it looks out nicely to these sort of bay windows, 
looking out to the front drive of your property. Also yeah. just notice that the fluffy stool matches the bed frame. Ah, yeah, mm -hmm. good spot. Yeah, it's like, like a little sheep. And there's a TV in the corner here, which sits nicely there. Yeah, perfectly placed for your, from your bed, isn't it? Yeah. Sit and watch that, some artwork on the other side. But if we show you the ensuite now. Oh gosh, it's so bright in here. Yeah, it is. I like the, the lighting around the edges of these mirrors. Yeah. They look really cool. Yeah. And like you said, very bright in here because we've got a window at that end, which brings in a lot of light. And we've also got the shower here behind the screen, sliding door. Oh, nice. But it's really big. It's got a nice recess for your products as well. But yeah, pretty big shower, right? Definitely. I like the floor in this one. Yeah, so we've got like the light marble looking floor and then the dark on the walls, which looks nice. Yeah. And the soft carpet throughout all the bedrooms, which is Oh yeah, and in the must. hallway, which is nice. Yes, really it's very soft. Homey, Just quickly homey poke our nose in here. We've got another dressing room. Oh, yeah. Plenty of space for your goods. Yeah. Your goods, your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and then back across the landing, we have another bedroom in here. Again, a little bit smaller. This used to be the ensuite for the one of the bedrooms in yeah, the Yeah, so the bedrooms that were room. knocked down to convert to the snooker room. Yeah, this used to actually be the bathroom for those, but it was converted. Perfectly, yeah, used the space to cater to what the owner wanted, which is Definitely. awesome for an interior design company. That Ooh. is. Spot the Jimmy Choo's the down there. Oh yeah, I left them there earlier. So. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got storage this side as well. But yeah, great guest bedroom. And then we've got a final bedroom down here. But before we go in, we've got a family bathroom, which is lovely. Oh yeah, I like this bathroom. More glossy tiles on the wall here, but again with the gray. It's a very sort of beachy feel in here, I think. Mm. You know, with the sort of light tones. Yeah. Again, with the window, which is nice. Frosted. It's, it's frosted, yeah, so it keeps it nice and private, but brings in all of that light. And then we've got the sort of more matte flooring. Yes. Because it means it's less slippery in the shower. That's a good idea. I love this little heart shaped. Can I just. Oh, yeah. Little heart washing basket. Oh. There you go. <laughs> love it. And then we've got the last bedroom in here. I really love lovely. this bedroom. Yeah. I love the like darker blues. The similar, bed frame looks insane. Similar color palette to the dining room that we saw yes. downstairs with the sort of the blues and we've got some brassy golds mm -hmm. on that end as well. We've got a great look over your back garden from here too. All of the bedrooms have really deep shelves. Yeah, windows. Um, sills, really yeah. deep sills on the windows. Yeah, there. That's good for the storing some bits and bobs. Yeah. But yeah. Massive. Massive bed in here, loads of pillows. Must must be a very comfortable night's sleep. I like the headboard too, how it sort of steps around. Yeah, the definitely. And once again, we've got loads of storage. I think in this room, Tom, there was a door leading to the bathroom we'd just been in, but they knocked it so they yes. keep it as a family bathroom. Yeah, exactly. And then to the other end of the room, we have these gray cabinets, which really match the tones of the walls nicely. But yeah, tons of storage in here as well. Yeah, lots and lots of room. Nice. It's worth noting that where we are, like I mentioned before, we have the view of the garden, but we're also surrounded in green space. We have a very village feel, even though we're only 30 minutes drive away from the city centre of Birmingham. Yeah. So that's awesome. That's a lot of appeal there. We've also got a golf course about five minutes away and Barnt Green train station, yes. which is about five minutes away as well. So yeah. for commuting, that would be perfect. Super convenient. I definitely like the feel of having that removed from the city feel, but yes. being close enough to sort of commute there if you want to definitely. in a short distance. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this tour. Make sure to like and subscribe. We've done a few tours this week, so we've been all over the country. Really helps us if you can press that subscribe button. It is free, so <laughs> what are you waiting for? Um, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this. See you in the next one.